is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Um, you know me. If you know me, you know me. If you know, you know. You know, so. Yes, that's actually going to be a lead up to a lot of the stuff that we're talking about here. What's up? Um, so yeah. That's a little loud. Fabulous. Um, yeah, so anyways, let's talk about something as simple as support. Why do people get court? Why do people have court dates? Um, Why do people have court dates? Present circumstances, mostly. Uh, and I and it just really hits home for a lot when I start saying, let's look at statistics of how many people are in court on a regular basis who have money, and how many people are in no court mercy. who do not oh, have money. Oh, there's Xavier. Right? Um, so if you look at those statistics, even if a rich person or a wealthy person has a need to go to court, what's happening is they aren't going. She's trying because to they're sending an attorney in their place. So all of the stress, all of the headache, all of the pain, all of the fear, all of those negative emotions, those emotions oh, that pull us down everyone. and pull us back, we don't feel those as a wealthy person who has, you know, been systemically inter intervened upon. Um, if you have, go have gone, uh, you know, through significant portions of systemic intervention, you become what experts refer to as uh, is, institu is, is called institutionalized, um, which means that you, in a way, become numb to the pain um, and to the process. Um, and so we then have the damage that's already been done to consider, um, the And the damage that has the potential to be inflicted upon a population who has never been uh, affected by it. So I believe the accurate measurement for this type of devastation would be to engage in emotional testing to find some sort of flat baseline for where the person is um, and take a test group of maybe a thousand and make it a thousand who have been to court less than 10 times in the last 10 years. Uh, make it a thousand who have been to court between 10 and 20 times in the last 10 years. Make it a thousand that have been to court more than, you know, 50 times in the last 10 years. And test all of those people. And I believe wholeheartedly that you're going to find uh, exactly what I discussed, which is you're going to find the numbness, the tuning out, the disassociation in the groups that have repetitive and long-lasting relationships with the court system, and you're going to find tremendous amounts of anxiety uh, and negative impact and negative emotion on the groups that have been to court less than 10, 20 times in the last 10 years. Um, and then, you know, the wealthy will be virtually unaffected after they make that first call to the lawyer. A lot of wealthy people don't even show up at their court dates anymore. Um, their lawyer does it for them. And if they do show up, their lawyer is prepared for them. There is no getting prepared for court if you're wealthy. Your lawyer prepares you, your lawyer prepares themselves, and your lawyer's ready to go. So... That's what, kind of what I want AI to intervene upon now. With When we have AI, all of the smart society complex uh, conversation dynamics that we've been discussing in my last AI videos, the ability to just basically judge and jury someone for whatever it is they've done based on the proof of whether or not they've done it in correlation with what other peers in similar circumstances have done to decide a quote-unquote punishment. Um, the AI is more so going to uh, kind of deter or defer or um, create a way, excuse my morning face, I just woke up a few minutes ago, but the AI is going to more or less create a way to teach um, a different a different 
um, response. The AI is not so much going to be, uh, you know, saying, well, your license is suspended for this. The AI is going to say, this person needs a license to get to work. So let's install something in their car. They have, they seem to have a speeding ticket. Let's incorporate smart society, uh, idealistic AI technology. You can call it idealistic if you want, but that doesn't change the fact that it exists. Let's start changing, let's start in directly incorporating that person's alarm system at the time that they wake up and the things that they have to do in the morning to their traffic. Their, let's use a, a, an interface like Waze with an open API and make it our own. Nothing in life happens for no reason. Everything is causal to something else, butterfly effect, etc., and so forth. And AI is going to resolve. And AI is going to offer solutions. And AI is going to say, all right, this person needs to get here by this time. This is the way they're going to go. This is what we're going to do to make sure that they get there by this time. And when they get there, you know, blah, blah, blah. So AI is going to come up with all these steps for us and virtually mitigate any and all need for court interference, which is going to overall increase the vibe of for society. Oh, pardon me. So these are the types of topics that we're going to be discussing in um, the podcast. And I'm actively seeking participants to come on as um, interview um, guests who have experience or um, interest in the AI that I'm discussing. So if that's you, feel free to send me a message. Um, we'd love to get you yeah, in. Sure. Um, they're going to be short 30-minute episodes, webisodes, and the first 10 or 20 of them are going to be um, kind of locked in the sense that you aren't going to be able to understand context of number two if you haven't heard number one. So they're going to be uh, kind of like storyboarded and um, she they're going like to include sick, all of the cat. things that I have experienced that make me someone who can offer reliable perspective on a lot of these topics. So um, if you guys have already listened to some on um, and has always, it's always been that way. There's always been so much going on. So tune in if you'd like. I, I hope you guys have a great day. And if you're someone who would like to participate Is in this podcast, um, what, we'd be glad what to is have going you. on? Goodness gracious, get it together next time before you get live. I'm just kidding. Whenever I go live, it's going to be a shit show. Did she quit her job already? I was wondering if she had her job. Oh, she only works part-time on weekends, we think. Okay.